What's up, Power Fans on YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about Ronnie and episode 3 of Power Book 3 Raising Canaan season 3. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, let's get straight into the topics. In my last video, I stated that we'll see Ronnie's first kill, which is the bouncer at the club for provoking him at the entrance. Now, one of you commented that I'd do a video on Ronnie. So this week, my video is starting with Ronnie. Let's take it back to when Ronnie was not in prison. Ronnie was the head of the gang back then and High Post was also running the street. Now, the same banter that was between Raquel and Unique was similar with High Post and Ronnie. So they both came into an agreement to share and dominate some corners. So High Post and Ronnie were the head of their business back then. Now, fast forward, Ronnie was sentenced to life imprisonment. This made Unique the next man in line. Unique took over Ronnie and shortly, High Post was also killed for snitching. I even have a feeling Ronnie probably had High Post killed thinking it was him who snitched on him to go to prison. Because if you pay attention to Ronnie's conversation with Unique at the gym, he said they should have killed Raquel back then when they had the chance. Why would he kill Raquel? Raquel also took over from High Post when he passed, but luckily for Raquel, High Post taught her the game very well. So with a little experience from DEF CON as well, she was competing with Unique. She became an immediate competition to Unique after High Post was killed. So in my view, they should have killed her as well. But let me know what you also think in the comment section about this. Now, Ronnie got out now because the officer in charge altered the evidence and apparently did the same to about 13 different cases, hence his release from prison. Ronnie is mad and wild now because Raquel has dominated the game. So briefly, that is it about Ronnie. So let me know what you also think in the comment section. Now, mind you, Raquel doesn't know Ronnie is out yet. And it is something that will spark some reactions if she gets to know that he is out. And I feel she will take it out on Unique for not telling her that his brother is out. So this little relationship they have going on, I believe will break very soon. Now, I felt like Ronnie is going to do same thing Kanan did with Tariq without Ghost knowing Kanan was still alive. Ronnie has been vigilant and very observant ever since he got home. His trait of sitting and watching TV and staring at things in a weird way was a way to establish that the guy has nothing much to do now. Hence, he has a lot of time to watch things and monitor things. Because someone who is not dealing, working or attempting anything means he has a lot of time to track his brother to understand his moves. Now, Ronnie wanted to know the state of rivalry between Unique and Raquel. So his line of conversations were always in line with what Raquel is doing. He first said Raquel is feeding off Unique and Unique seemed defensive of that. This was the first giveaway by Unique. Ronnie's second attempt was at the gym and Unique seemed unconcerned because of the affairs he is having with Raquel. So Ronnie started to tell Unique until he saw him coming out of Raquel's house at night. Conclusively, Ronnie has done the math. Raquel and Unique kicking it together now is going to give Raquel some advantage in the sense that Unique is getting more comfortable with the affair such that he will will likely protect Raquel from any threat. I also think Raquel is letting Unique into her bed for a purpose. She would rather have Unique on her side and face any other threat than stand alone and have to deal with unknown threats together with one she knows which is Unique. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, still on Ronnie, him showing up to Kanan could be a lot of things. Either he wants him to notify Raquel of his presence or he was telling him to see if he's dealing on his own like his mom. It could also be that he wants to draw closer to Kanan and turn him against his mother the more, learn his ways of dealing and take control back from Raquel. Now, if Ronnie's idea is to get closer to Kanan, then he's going to find out that the boy is angry with his mom. Just like how Tariq was mad at Ghost and Kanan turned him more against his father. So I think Ronnie might do the same thing with Kanan if he finds out he doesn't want to even hear his mother's name. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Do you think Ronnie will get closer to Kanan and turn him more against Raquel? Or you think he's just on the move to scare Kanan for Raquel to make some moves? Drop your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. Now, if Ronnie manages to figure out that Kanan hates his mother now 
and he really wants to turn him against her the more, the worst he can do is to tell Kanan his mom is kicking it with Unique. Trust me, this information will make Kanan extremely mad at his mother the more. Now, speaking of Kanan, I personally felt the slap he gave Famous here and the mood at this scene speaks volume. I think Kanan is going to kill Famous himself. We all know Famous is not built for this game and he showed it in so many ways and where his interest is, which is the music and smoking anything smokable. Now, Kanan dealing with fame will come with a lot of mistakes and inexperiences. So if Ronnie decides to work with Kanan, he might influence him to kill Famous over some mess he would have created. Now, if you remember Kanan's famous quote, it says, you ain't a killer until you kill someone you love. Now, we know Kanan loved his mother, he loved Jukebox, his uncle, and Famous as well. But I feel this love refers to a friendly love which points at Famous. Now, gradually, they have started to build up anger and disappointment for Kanan towards Famous. It's just a matter of time that he will mess up for him to get him killed. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, what could be another reason for Kanan to put bullet in Famous' head? We all remember the DNA test results Howard gave Kanan to confirm that indeed he is his father, right? If you remember how Kanan reacted when Famous opened the result, you could see that he doesn't want him to know Howard is his father. Even Famous mentioned the initials of Howard, which is MH, and he even asked Kanan if that was Defcon's name. Now, I have a feeling Famous will figure out the full meaning of MH as Malcolm Howard, then he will remember the daddy test, and like we all know Famous, he will definitely ask Kanan for clarity. Now, if Kanan wants this to stay quiet, he won't hesitate to kill Famous to prevent him from possibly spreading that he is a cop's son. So personally, I feel this DNA thing will come up again, and Famous will somehow remember seeing the daddy test result, having Kanan's initials, and that of Howard, but let me know what you also think in the comment section. Now, finally, let me touch briefly on Howard. Now, in my opinion, Howard shouldn't have approached Adina. He sounded desperate when he was talking to her. I feel Adina played him with those tears. I don't know about you, but do you really think Adina was convinced by what Howard said? Let me know what you also think in the comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share. Most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.